हेलो एवरीवन टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस अबाउट द टॉपिक वायरसेस इन दिस विल सी फर्स्ट द हिस्ट्री ऑफ वायरस डिफरेंस बिटवीन द कैरेक्टरिस्टिक्स ऑफ वायरस एज कंपेयर टू लिविंग सेल देन विल अंडरस्टैंड द ओरिजिन ऑफ वायरस देन विल सी द स्ट्रक्चर स्ट्रक्चर ऑफ वायरस और इट्स शेप क्लासिफिकेशन ऑफ वायरस कैरेक्टरिस्टिक्स ऑफ बैक्टीरियो फेज डिफरेंस बिटवीन लाइटिक साइकिल एंड लाइसोजेनिक साइकिल then the characteristics of virions and prions so this is the history of virus firstly in 1892 demetri evanovsky demonstrated that the cause of tobacco mosaic disease was found in the liquid extracted from infected plant later on in 1897 martinez bejering suggested that this tiny particles in juice caused the disease and he named this particle as virus and la the latin word of the virus is meaning uh, or it is called as a poison in uh, 1935 after that wendel stanley isolate the crystals of tobacco mosaic virus since the living organisms do not crystallize and stanley inferred that viruses were not truly alive this was the experiment done by evanovsky In this experiment, he first extracted a sap from the tobacco plant with tobacco mosaic disease, and passed through this sap through the porcelain filter known to trap the bacteria. That means the filtrate after filtration, uh, it it is put it into the healthy tobacco plant, and he found that healthy plant became infected. So conclusion of this experiment is that. it is very very smaller than bacteria because the filtrate remains infected that's why it get transferred from the uh, that is the infected plant to the healthy plant so uh, let's discuss about the characteristic of virus as i said earlier it is very smaller or extremely small in size and simpler than bacteria they are ultra microscope we cannot see in under the light microscope hence it required electron microscope to see they are considered to the organisms that live at the age of living and non living thing they are dependent parasite that cannot survive on their own they always need host or any uh, living organism to multiply uh, because they cannot live on their own next is that it contain genetic material either dna or rna which is surrounded by protein coat that is called capsid so and uh, inside it there is a nucleic acid maybe dna or rna so that is called completely nucleocapsid next is that they are responsible for causing severe fatal disease in humans plant and animals they are not classified into any biological classification system they lie in threshold of life and non life so how they their characteristics resemble with non uh, living or living so first in non life as they are a cellular with no cell nucleus no organelles no cytoplasms hence they do not have any components necessary to carry all the metabolic activities independently and the next is that virus cannot move and reproduce on their own but in case of living they could only reproduce within the living cells that they infect and they use their genetic informations to force the host cell to replicate themselves that's why it is called obligate intracellular parasite next we'll discuss about the virus size as it is very smaller than bacteria and too small even to seen by light microscope the biggest size is found to be 240 to 300 nanometer in size and the tiniest virus is 20 nanometer or smaller than a ribosome and its shape is like a helical spiral icosahedral uh, or we can say it is a poly complex symmetry that we'll uh, discuss in the later slide then how it originated so virus firstly coexist with the life whenever it occurs they have probably existed since living cells first evolved viruses do not forms fossils so mo uh, molecular techniques need to be useful for hypothesis uh, hypothesizing how they arose so there are three main theories which speculate the origin of virus first is the regressive theory in which viruses may have once been small cells and it parasitize the larger cells over a time genes are not required where their parasitisms were lost and the bacteria which is uh, brachycia and chlamydia are living cells because it is like a viruses that can produce only inside the host cell and they lend credence to this theory as their dependence on parasitism is likely to cause the loss of genes that enable them to survive outside the cell next theory 
Yeah, that is the cellular origin theory in which the uh, they said that viruses evolved from the bits of DNA and RNA that escaped from the genes of larger organism and that escaped DNA could have come from the pl plasmid species of DNA that can move cells while others may have evolved from the bacteria. Next theory is co-evolution theory in which viruses may have evolved from the complex molecules uh, that is the protein and DNA at the same time as the cell first appear on earth and would have dependent on cellular life for many million of years. So, <clears throat> uh, out of these three, there are some problems with these theories uh, that found is that regressive hypothesis in which it does not explain why even the smallest of cellular parasites do not resemble virus in any way. Then the next theory is uh, that is escape theory or hypothesis does not explain the structure of virus particle. And the last one is the co-evolution theory in which that it controverses the definition of viruses as it is the intracellular obligate parasite and in that they are dependent on the host cell. So this is all about the virus origin. Then we'll discuss about the classification of virus. So basically it is classified uh, on this following criteria such as structure, its chemical composition and similarities in genetic makeup. So first uh, there, is, uh, there is international committee on taxonomy of viruses which includes that the viruses have three orders, 63 families and 263 genera in which that 63 families ends with the suffix viridi and 263 genera ends with the suffix viruses. So this is the uh, a table which shows the examples of these three orders of virus in which will explain that genome type such as the double stranded it contain under that the order is cordovirals family is the poxviridae mm, uh, and genus is orthopox virus and the species is vaccinia virus. So this is according to the uh, international committee of taxonomy of virus. Then actual the, there are three types of systems which propose to classify the virus. First is the Baltimore uh, who is one of uh, the scientists who classify that viruses on the basis of mechanism of uh, mRNA that we'll discuss uh, in next. Then classical system classification and genetic classification. So this is the seven groups we are made by Baltimore classification. Uh, it is basically on the basis of classification and genome replication and in which uh, uh, it is on the basis of uh, mechanism of mRNA. So RNA uh, as it forms, it is the central point in the Baltimore classifications. So whatever the, um, uh, uh, the RNA or DNA it contains, it, it is only only on the basis of uh, uh, RNA on the mechanism of RNA so first group is double stranded RNA virus uh, in which the examples are adenovirus herpes virus pox virus second group is the single stranded DNA virus in which the uh, sensed DNA occurs so example is parvovirus then third group is double stranded RNA virus example is rheoviruses fourth group is single stranded plus RNA virus example is picorna virus or toga virus then next uh, uh, fifth group is single stranded RNA virus but negative strand or it is also called antisense strand. Example is orthomyxo virus or rhabdo virus. Then seventh group is the, uh, the single stranded RNA virus uh, with a DNA intermediate in the life cycle that is known as retrovirus as we know that it is a HIV virus for example. It, it is a uh, content reverse transcriptase that means we know that uh, the central dogma of life that DNA is converted into RNA by transcription then RNA to uh, protein by translation but in this case the uh, the reverse case is that uh, from DNA is formed from the RNA because of the enzyme is reverse transcriptase and this is uh, uh, one of the example of uh, HIV virus or we can say it is a retro virus. Then last group is double stranded DNA virus example is the hepta DNA virus. Next classification on the basis of host which type of host it causes for example animal virus, plant virus, bacteria virus those virus which cause to the animal then it is called animal viruses example is rabies, polio, mumps, chicken pox, smallpox, influenza those virus which cause to the plants that example is tobacco mosaic as we discussed uh, earlier uh, then banana stick virus 
carotene leaf virus and uh, bacteriophage we know that uh, virus infecting bacteria is known as bacteriophage t1 t2 t3 and t4 t4 is most common in lytic cycle that we'll discuss uh, in later slide uh, how the lytic uh, what happened in the lytic cycle next is the classification on the basis of genetic basis that means it contained the dna then it is called dna virus if it is contained rna then it is called as the rna virus then classification on the basis of structural as it contain uh, there are some viruses which contain envelope or non envelope so they are also arranged subclasses of dna and rna so this is a classification of dna virus if there is a envelope or double stranded genome or in case of non envelope it contains double stranded or single stranded genome then we'll discuss about the structure of virus how exactly the virus structures look like so it is uh, basically it contains the head portion uh, which is uh, it is the example of t4 bacteriophage uh, and uh, under that there is a neck portion attaches to the collar collar is uh, made up of uh, protein sheath and the uh, head is portion made up of uh, capsid or protein pod uh, as we uh, discussed that uh, uh, capsid is nothing but a uh, protein subunits made up of capsomers so it may be 20 200 uh, number of capsomers or protein subunits uh, it made uh, but uh, inside it there is a nucleic acid uh, and it is very important because only the uh, genetic material is responsible for viral infection so, and uh, the and there is a tail fibers attaches to the basal plate which is helpful for the attachment to the host cell okay so this is a structure of virus and as uh, as i said earlier that some viruses contains envelope so if there is an outer envelope that encloses the coat and is the made of parts of previously infected cells so this is a complete virus which consists of genetic material protein coat and if suppose envelope then it is called as a virion now next uh, how many types of viruses uh, are there in present in the different types of shapes so shape is based on the capsids uh, so capsids are nothing but a um, protein subunit uh, so it may be in the helical or rod shaped example is tobacco mosaic virus it is look like a helical form or uh, in the polyhedral or icosahedral uh, uh, symmetry as you can see in this that if there is a hexagonal shape but in that there is a triangular facet so this triangular facet is containing uh, icosahedral asymmetric subunit so it is in the many type of phases like 20 phases and 12, 40 phases and 16 phases so this is the polyhedral icosahedral symmetry then next is the complex combination that is having a tail or having a helical or polyhedral is the combination of both so example is the bacteriophage then the last is the four envel most enveloped viruses which is having the spherical shape and uh, it is example is influenza virus then what is the bacteriophage so much of the knowledge comes from studying the bacteriophage because they can cultured easily within a bacteria and it is a double stranded inside the protein head so capsid function is uh, is the protection for a genetic material the tail fibers are based used to attach themselves to the host cell and the tail is the channel for their genetic material to be injected to the host cell so this is the structure of bacteriophage which contain head it inside it there is a double stranded dna then the core tube then tail fibers and basal plate so this is a lytic cycle that we'll discuss in the next uh, video so hope you guys understand uh, this topic very well uh, if you like this video please share like and subscribe thank you so much